Right, so this is uh, not so much a review, more about a comparison uh, with four types of true wireless headphones. Now, obviously, we all started off with this type, uh, which were fine in the day, but now we don't use those. So what I've got here are the um, generation one of the AirPods, the Apple AirPods, the new Samsung earbuds, uh, this is a £50 pair of true wireless earbuds and this is a £30 pair of true wireless earbuds. So 160, 140, 30, sorry, uh, 50 and 30. Now, if we just go through them quickly. So I do like these. I bought them for my wife and the reason that I bought them for her and was prepared to spend £160 was... At the time, they were the easiest thing for her to use. I've tried getting her to use uh, this type of device for a very long time, but they were all complicated. Sometimes they wouldn't purr, etc., etc. So it just wasn't worth doing and she didn't like using them. Um, I bought these because you take them out and they purr up straight away. You can't complain. They do exactly what they say on the tin. However, my opinion is they're completely overpriced, just like every Apple product. Um, and unfortunately, that that's my opinion of them. Obviously, that's a, a lot of other people's opinion of them. More about those in a moment. We've now got the Samsung earbud. Uh, really impressed with these, mainly because they do exactly what they say on the tin as well. You take them out, they pair with the uh, Samsung device. It already has a wireless charging case for £140. I think the new uh, Generation 2 AirPods you get the wireless charging case with that if you want to buy it with that. And I think that's about £200. So again, vastly overpriced compared with the Samsung one. Um, and personally, I think these are a lot more technologically advanced than the, than the Apple ones, even the second generation. So we've got those that we'll go through in depth. This one, I think it's the Tran new ones. Uh, same sort of thing as the, as the Samsung one. They fit in your ear canal, so they block out noise. Uh, they pair almost immediately. Really impressed with those, £50. And then these are ones that I got for my son. These were only £30. He absolutely thinks they're fantastic. And if you press the button in the centre there, it tells you what the charge is. They light up to say that they're working when you take them out. When they purred, uh, they turn blue. So that's just gone into purr. Oops, is it? That one's just gone into purring mode now. So a fun thing. So let's just pop that back in. Right, and if I go through them individually, this is a slidey case. I know that they've made the new one into a, a matte finish, but if you've got, or if you're thinking about buying the, um, the Generation 1 ones, this case is horrendous. It's slippy, it's slidey. Even when you take these out, because these are a, a, a gloss finish as well, your fingers are sliding on them. They're really difficult to get out. It's, I just can't believe that any manufacturer would make something so difficult. However, when you open them up, even though they're slippy, they do purr straight away and it tells you the percentage of battery in the AirPods, but also tells you the percentage of battery in the case itself. When you do eventually manage to take them out, again, they purr straight away and you can talk into them, you can listen to your music. They're very comfortable. Uh, I'll show you them in in a moment. But they do the job that they're supposed to do. I just think that they are totally overpriced. And also there's no app for them on the phone. You can double tap them to open Siri up. Other than that, there's very little control that you've got over them. So that that's, that's my opinion on those. If we come across to the Samsung, earbuds i'll just move the apple iphone out of the way bring across a, a much better phone so the samsung earbud now if we bring this across just open it up it comes on straight away it tells you what the battery life is and you can open up the app that comes with it uh, I did have to do some upgrades on this. Uh, I had to upgrade the software on the earbuds and also the software on the wearable app. But it tells you what the percentage charge in the individual earbuds. 
you can do lots more things than you can on the Apple one. For example, you've got a, an equaliser that you can open. So you've got a bass boost. You can listen to the voice clearer. Um, you can make it softer. You can listen to the treble. You can look at your notifications. If you go into your notifications, you can choose what you want to be notified of. In other words, incoming calls, emails, messages, etc. We'll go back out of that. You can... Uh, decide what you want to do with the touchpad. Now the touchpad is the the bit on the earbud itself. If you tap it once, you'll get to play or pause the track. If you tap it twice, it'll play the next track or enter or end, end a call. If you tap it three times, it'll play the previous track. Or you can long press it and you can decide what you want to do. Uh, you can actually make it more programmable because... For the right one, I've got it set up for the voice command. So if I just hold my finger onto the touchpad there, Google will come up. Or if I touch the left one, something nice about these is it brings up the ambient noise. So if you're missing something in the background, if somebody's trying to talk to you um, or anything like that, all I do is touch the touchpad on the left ear uh, pad and it brings up the ambient noise. In other words, the microphones pick up what's going on around me and pass that through the earbud into my ear. They amplify what's going on around. So that's a really nice touch. Uh, if I go back, if you can't find your earbuds, you can go into there. I'll just take one out so you can hear it. It knows when it's in your ear basically as well. So I can start it searching. thinks it's found it you can hear it there it's just like a bird noise uh, obviously it's not going to you're not gonna be able to find it if it's in another room but oh no it does get louder so that's a nice little touch as well and what else have we got something that I wanted to discuss about the call quality so when you, when you get anything like this, all you need to do is phone your own mobile. It'll go through to your answer phone and then you can listen to um, what the microphone's like on it, whether it picks your voice up well or whether it's all garbled and muffled. We've all had earbud type things where people say, I, I can't understand what you're saying. Um, that's not the case of these. These are extremely clear. It does sound like you're on a hands-free phone, but they're extremely clear. Um, there's actually two microphones in each of these. You've got an external mic, which is your general purpose. It just picks your voice up. Uh, but because it picks your voice up and it's external, it'll also pick any ambient noise up around you. So if people are talking or if there's music, if you're in a bar or anything, it'll pick that up and it makes it more difficult for people to understand you at the other end of the phone. What these have is they have an internal mic. Now, I can only presume that that's like a bone conduction mic. And what happens is, because they're a mini computer, they can tell when the ambient noise is too low for you to be clearly heard. So it switches off the external mic, switches this one off, and switches to the internal mic, which, as I say, is a bone conduction one. Now, I tried this by turning the stereo up full blast in a room, uh, and it does definitely change. Um, it... it it does cut out the vast majority of the background noise and you can still hear your voice, although it's a completely different tonation, purely and simply because it's now working off conduction rather than anything else. But it is a fantastic feature. If it's in my ear, it opens up the ambient sound menu there. So we'll just see these in place in a moment. Just pop those down. Um, right, something that you get with these out of the box, so to speak, that you don't get with the version one of that or any of these two is because the, it's a wireless charging case. You can open this up, go into your settings, wireless power share there. Tells you, oops, there's a wireless power share. Right. It's ready to charge. Just turn it over. You see that there's a blue light flashing there now. I can put this on and you'll hear the notification noise. So it's wireless charging, which is fantastic. You should have six hours charge 
on the earbuds themselves you've obviously then got the charge that's in the case but if you need more charge you can basically bang it onto a wireless mat somewhere if you've got your phone with you and it does the two-way charging you can use that so really impressed with those all right just move that phone out of the way right so that's two out of the four um these I haven't really got that much to say other than I've been really, really impressed with them. So this one, open it up. On the front, you've got three lights there which indicate the battery charge. Very easy to put, um, just in the normal Bluetooth process. It doesn't do it automatically as this does with a Samsung phone and this does with a, an Apple device. Um, but they work absolutely fantastically. When you take them out with a pre-paired device, they pair up straight away. The sound is fantastic. They are decent when it comes to uh, voice quality on a call. They do the job that they're supposed to do and they were 15 pounds. And again, what you've got there is the uh, earbud that goes into the ear canal, blocks out a lot of the noise around you. So they do what they're supposed to do. They were 50 pounds, try new ones. These lofter ones, are even more unbelievable in all honesty because these were only £30. Uh, nice little case, shows you the charge on the device. Um, when you take it out, if it's not paired to something, automatically goes into pairing mode. So there's your pairing mode. And if you go into your Bluetooth settings on your device, you'll be able to pick that up. They are used on a daily basis by my son when he's on the way to and from school. And he thinks they're absolutely fantastic. So they operate on a US on a standard USB or sorry micro USB. They charge on a micro USB also. The Samsung fantastically charge on a USB C. So really impressed with that. And um, the Apple ones that I've got to say are vastly overpriced. They do the job, but vastly overpriced. They um, operate on a Lightning cable connector. So there's four. You pay your money, eat your chalk ice, uh, is what they say. I like the Samsung ones. If I didn't want to pay £140, I'd be quite happy to pay £30 for these. Um, they don't have the wireless charging, etc., etc., but it's £30 against £140. And I would have any of these over the Apple ones. Um, they're just way, way overpriced. So that's that. I hope that I've uh, helped you make a decision if you want to make a decision on what you're buying. Um, my preference out of these, because they work so well with my Samsung device, are the Samsung earbuds. Obviously made by AKG um, and they sound really, really good. So a nice comfy fit. Um, my wife's got the AirPods and I do find them comfy as well. However, with these, what you get is they block out the external noise even when nothing's playing, purely simply because the earbud fits inside the canal. So it, um, it, you get the not a noise cancellation effect, you get a noise blocking effect on what's going on around you. So that's a fantastic thing to start off with. What I would say about these is, although there's bass and clarity and basically everything that you want, I don't find them to be the loudest device that I've ever used. Um, which may be a good thing. Uh, at least I'm not going to go deaf by them. Um, however, perhaps I could do with them being a, a little bit louder. Right, so at the moment the music's paused. And it's simply a case of touching the touchpad once and it'll start playing again. And it's playing. If you touch it again, twice... It moves on to the next track. Touch it three times. It moves on to the previous track. And then say, uh, if you keep your finger on it, it opens up Google. Uh, she's, I'm basically talking to her now. Uh, so that's how easy that is to use. I'm going to just start the music again. Right. If, um, if I was to tap the other one, and keep well not tap it was to keep my finger on it so now what it's done is it's opened up for the ambient sound so i can hear my voice being repeated back to me because basically it's picking up anything that's going on around in the microphones and it's amplifying that and putting it through and it also decreases the music noise when that when that's happening 
So all in all, would I have paid £140 for them? Uh, probably not in all honesty. If I was in the market for paying that sort of money, would I do it? Then yeah, I would. They're very comfy. I know that I can wear them for extended periods. Um, I did pay 160 for my wife's AirPods and that's only because she uses Apple all the time. It's specific to Apple and they are easy to use. These are just as easy to use. 